Hi, it's Kathy Chenna here with Tri-Cities Community TV at Lee Square in Port Coquitlam. My guest today, I'm going to call her A Squared. She is not only an architect, but she's also an artist. Our guest today is Ban Kuba. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very and much. And you have a very interesting story, um, but I want to talk a little bit about uh, yourself as an architect and t tell us, where are you from and when did you come to Canada? Mm -hmm. So um, I was born in Iraq and I came to Canada five years ago. That's mm -hmm. my sixth year. Mm -hmm. um, I moved from Iraq to Dubai. I stayed another five years there and then came here. Right. Uh, originally, I'm an architect, still is, um, but art is my hobby. Art is your hobby, and I mm -hmm. think it's a little bit of your passion. It is my so passion. So we're gonna definitely. we're gonna move on to art. Mm -hmm. I totally want to talk about uh, the kind of art that you. Um, that you draw and what it means to you mm -hmm. and um, but uh, as an architect mm -hmm. uh, that's quite kind of interesting I, I met you uh, today and mm -hmm. I would never have thought that mm -hmm. but um, you played a large role in in the uh, Evergreen Line mm -hmm. right here in the Tri-Cities mm -hmm. uh, what uh, what was your role with that and, um, and and tell us how how that is now coming to fruition and mm -hmm. how do you feel about the project well the project uh, it was so good it was actually the biggest project when I first came here like three years ago when I joined them and uh, I play the role of interface coordinator, which is the design management for three stations. Mm -hmm. And it was it was fair, nice time that we spend, and it's it's challenging, mm -hmm. but it's good to see the project on the ground and it's going and, and hopefully going to be running with the coming year. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, just before Christmas, I'm hoping. I okay. I live very near to two two of the stations, mm -hmm. so that that'll be great to see that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, finally, finally happen. Mm -hmm. uh, there were some uh, some hiccups along the way, but uh, you know what? Uh, projects this big, I think, uh, you know, you can never um, foresee what the uh, what the issues will be. So, um, in terms of that, uh, with your art, mm -hmm. um, would you say that uh, do you draw every day? Mm. No, actually, I draw whenever I feel down, and it's funny because when you are happy, you don't draw. It's kind of you know, it's balancing the life. <laughs> like when you feel that you're, you're sad and not feel like going out, so you actually grab your, your brush and start drawing and yeah. painting, and that's what gets you out of yeah. it. Yeah. So basically it works like a, you know, something that pushes you up. Picks, picks you up, yeah. yeah. I write, I like to write, I like to put mm -hmm. my thoughts on paper and mm -hmm. sort of, uh, you know, ponder them, mm -hmm. and then uh, feel, I feel better in, in that regard. Mm -hmm. um, did you start drawing a, a, as, a, as a young woman? Mm -hmm. uh, how, how long have you been drawing? Well, I don't remember any time that I haven't drawn. Uh, okay, so just <laughs> so whenever like, you as, as far as could, my memory yes, goes, yes, yeah, yes. I, I've been drawing all the time. But to take it seriously, take it to the next level, it's just like the way I, I, I think that we are born with certain talents and our job is just to, to move those up, uh, to discover them and try to work on them until they are, you know, worthy to be shown. And that's what I do. Like I just keep working on it until it's, you know, enough for people to say, yeah, that's nice. There, when I start, you know, taking the further step of showing it somewhere. Or, yes, yes. Yeah. It has to meet your expectations, yes. and yeah. when you show it to people, mm -hmm. and they're giving you that sort of confidence, mm -hmm. then you want to move forward, and then you think, okay, this is worthy of going into a gallery. Mm -hmm. But your art is really unlike other mm -hmm. other artists. Mm -hmm. um, you've had some challenges along the way. Mm -hmm. uh, please, please tell me about some of the challenges you've had, and maybe let's uh, let's hear about the kind of art that you do draw. Mm -hmm. Um, the challenges I faced is all because of my subject that I picked. Um, generally in architecture, like we do like curves, but it's usually not so functional. Mm -hmm. So I like to use curves, but usually it's against the client wall. So I just get the art to pick that part for me and I drew curve. And that's what I, I'm fond of. Uh -huh. So it's just like drawing all those, you know, lines that, you know, just moves around in a funny way, which I, I like. And since like there aren't much in, in you know landscaping to do that, um, I just tend to draw the nudity, which is like the you know the the shape of the woman body is, mm -hmm. is just like the, uh, as curvature as can be. Right. Um, the other equivalent one to it can be horses, 
but I don't know. I didn't find myself in that. So. Animals were not really your thing, or no. flowers, so. or nature. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, you went with nudity. And tell me, in, in Dubai, yeah. you were able to showcase some of your art there? Yeah, the problem with nudity, because of picking that subject, actually, but funny, I didn't have any problem with showing it in Baghdad. It was like an open society, everything. In Dubai, it was a bit challenging. Um, whenever I start, you know, exploring the, um, the ability to show my work, mm -hmm. it's always I was faced with rejection or, you know, the very last minute after framing the, the um, painting, they go like, uh, we're sorry, but we have to put it down. Until one day, like I was, I was arra I arranged everything and, and the paintings were already like framed. And the girl, the, the manager of the, of the um, gallery, she goes like, I think we have, to, we have to turn down. They are not accepting it. And I go like, OK, so uh, can I put it upside down, like at the, at the back of the? And she goes like, maybe you can. And what I came up with an idea is just to wrap it up with a veil like uh -huh. black veil, uh -huh. and this is what I did actually. The exhibition was like the paintings with veils all around them, and people know that to like look at the painting, yeah. they would have to, you know, peek, peek through yeah. that, uh, you know, veil. And it was provocative to do that. Like it's kind of a statement as well. So in one way, I mean, mm -hmm. you didn't take the no for an answer. I like that. Um, you tried to work around mm -hmm. it because I think that. Uh, how disappointing is that? You go to a gallery, they're looking at your at your work, which is really beautiful, actually. Mm -hmm. I, I, I love curves, too. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I saw it, and, and I really um, could really associate with it. Mm -hmm. You know, you really see different, different kinds of things with it, the depth of it, I think, right? Mm -hmm. um, but you turned that around. You mm -hmm. had an obstacle. You turned it around. Mm -hmm. You figured out a way quickly mm -hmm. of how you could still, you know, put it up. Like mm -hmm. you thought, you know what? Darn it! Mm -hmm. I'm here. Mm -hmm. I deserve to be here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to do something about this. Mm -hmm. And with that veil and nudity, mm -hmm. I think it really went hand in hand, didn't that's it? So true. Yeah, so I, true. I think that was yeah. brilliant. Very, yeah. very, that's, very brilliant. That's so true. It's just not good to see all of your art and pieces are hanging in the, in the drawer instead of, you know, people would like to look at it. And mm -hmm. it's just like it's, it gives you. Further, like when the people start criticizing your work, it's just give you a, um, like a, a, a view for what you want to do next. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's kind of it's mm -hmm. useful to the artist to get you know exposed. Right. Yeah. So you've done some things locally. Have you mm -hmm. have you brought your 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 art to the United States at all? I'm just sort of curious mm -hmm. in yes, that way because definitely. I think that in Canada and the U.S. Mm -hmm. I'd like to think that we're so much mm -hmm. more of an open mm -hmm. uh, country mm -hmm. uh, or we're open countries mm -hmm. and and it would be a lot more welcoming in these other mm -hmm. parts. Mm -hmm. So have, have you done that? Yeah. So while I was in Dubai, I arranged something in, uh, in the States. So I had uh, one exhibition in Miami. I had another exhibition in San Jose. And I have a coming exhibition actually in, uh, in um, California as well. So okay. Okay. Uh, I tried to do that. Here I did one exhibition, which was in March, of, uh, actually April, Yes. for a month in uh, Place des Arts, which mm -hmm. is in the Tri-City. Mm -hmm. And then uh, um, I did before that an exhibition in Montreal. Which is which was also like I contributed to a, a group of uh, artists. Right, there. So right. It was, it was nice. Fantastic. Yeah. So yeah. your so your day job is being an architect, and uh, your passion and your hobby um, is being an artist. Mm -hmm. um, where do you see that going? Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm. I'm I'm pretty devoted to being an architect, although they, I'm not allowed to call myself architect here. I'm a foreign trained architect, yes, just in yes, case. Yes, <laughs> yes. But um, yeah, I, I, architecture has been always my, mm. my job and my, my everything. But uh, this is my hobby, my passion. I yeah. just work it as you know, a place where you, you want to vent out, you want to just express your emotions. And, Take it to the next level. It's always good. Yes, get no. home anyone. <laughs> Fantastic. No, mm -hmm. I, it's a great way to express yourself, and and art comes in so many different forms. Mm -hmm. You've chosen you've chosen a form that works for you. Mm -hmm. um, any anything else that you'd like to share with us? Um, the only thing is that like the idea that I took for the art itself, like the way I draw my my paintings, is always to express the idea that um, each one of us is just a product for what happened to them. Mm -hmm. So if you take the, um, uh, the events that pass through you, you mm -hmm. wouldn't recognize who you are. Right. And that's how my paintings is always a mix between the background and the foreground. And the foreground is just a, a mix between the two. So it's, it's kind of um, integrated with the background to the limit where it's, you can't recognize it if you omit one or another. Right, yeah. right, and right. So we are. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so, so much. Mm -hmm. We heard about art and architecture today and how the two are blended here with Tri-Cities Community TV. My name is Kathy Chenna and let's see you next time.